1511 uh, comes next, uh, the chromed up gilt. Uh, again, pedigree on these 15s. Uh, lot one, uh, the board there at the stud, uh, back on a kingpin red alert sow. Uh, that that sow uh, um, would uh, the grandma sow would be a litter mate. Quite frankly, no stranger and to the extremes, uh, uh, grandma. And uh, then that sow herself, the kingpin sow, uh, raised our eighty-five thousand dollar gilt there at uh, uh, um, perfect timing two falls ago. Uh, deep litter, uh, really consistent in terms of being slick looking and stout jawed. And again, uh, I, I think that uh, that's a key sow family. Uh, this is an opportunity to buy show guilt that uh, I think offers some value as a as a breeding female later on in life. That one's got a lot of stout indicators. That's a very stout skull. That is a very wide chest, uh, a heavy bone hog, big footed, uh, uh, got good turn uh, to to its uh, rib cage. A big bodied kind of hog looks like it's got a pliable kind of a center. And that's a big hip working in her. But man, look at the flexibility of hind leg and the way she reaches behind her tail head. And used to used to have hogs with no muscle. That would have been the only ones you could make them uh, uh, move like that. But these hogs have got a lot of stuff and 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 still able to flex because uh, and reach because of the, the type of skeleton they got in them. And and again, that one uh, not going to feed that one real hard. There's a lot of hog there already. Uh, very nice painted up gilt there in uh, 15-11.